Hello everyone, in this video, I'll show you the importance of softmax function. So without wasting any further time, let's get started by importing numpy as np. As you can recollect, in case of a binary classification problem, you can use the sigmoid function to tell you which class your output belongs to. Either it belongs to class 0 or it belongs to class 1. But when you have multiple classes or classes greater than 2, that is where softmax function comes in handy. Softmax function will convert all your score values into normalized probability distribution. So this is the formula for the softmax function. You have your numerator term and you have your denominator term. How do you calculate that is something that I'll show you with respect to code. So let me start off by generating some input values. So I'll have inputs minus 2, 4, 13 and 25. So let me import this in memory. Now in case of the softmax function, you have a numerator term and a denominator term. The way I calculate the numerator term is I raise e, that is the mathematical constant, to the power of each of those numbers that I've just received, that is my x input. So let me run the cell. So this constitutes my numerator term. While calculating the denominator, what I essentially do is I sum up all the exponents that I've calculated in the previous step. And the result is what I get in form of denominator. So let me run this cell. As you can clearly see the denominator is one single number and you have numerator equal to the total number of inputs that were present. So essentially your softmax function is the ratio of numerator to denominator. So let me run this cell. So these are the values that you get. If you sum up all these values, they would add up to 1. Thus, using softmax, you can convert any arbitrary real numbers into probability scores. Now, why is this essential? Well, consider a case wherein you have a classification problem with four classes, say cat, dog, rat and snake. I've picked up these animals at random. And if I get an output with respect to the pre-final layer of my neural network to be equal to minus 2, 4, 13 and 25, then by using softmax, I'll have the probability distributions generated and post which I can use np.argmax and pass in the softmax values to find out the argument with the maximum value. In our case, it was the last value, which is the third argument. So this is how softmax function works. And this is the small implementation that I had in mind in terms of showing you the power of softmax function and where is it used in deep learning. I hope you found this video informative. If you like the content that I post on my channel, it would be really motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for future amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.